Okay, so we are here today in the Richcraft Pathways model called Pine Field. This is actually the sales center here in this area. We're gonna walk you through the kitchen, the living room, dining room, the master bedroom, and the ensuite, and talk to you about how we designed it and all came together. All right, so the vision for this model was to create something that was really appealing to a lot of people and with a classic style, yeah. but with our warm, modern touch to it. Yeah. So the kitchen for us was the first place we started to design. I think the kitchen style really yeah. is the, the setting point for, for the whole home. Yeah, and usually we're doing a five or six model homes at the same time, so we want them to all have kind of a different and distinguished look. Because next door we actually did white, we wanted to go with that dark green look. It also pairs beautifully with the dark wood accents that we picked in here. It's a contrast to the brass detail that you see kind of throughout. We did it on the handles, we did it on the light fixtures, and on the faucet. I think sometimes people are a little bit nervous to mix those metals, but it's totally okay to do that. We love to add personalities really with the decor, and in the kitchen, you need that functional decor, but you also wanna have some pretty things. We added a picture frame in here, which is new, and we're loving this trend that's happening right now. And you can also mix botanicals, flowers, vases. Functional yeah, kitchen stuff too. There's lots of different ways to add personality to your space. Okay, so now let's take you into the living room. The living room was really gonna be used as a family room in this space, so we wanted to use a really big, comfortable sectional here and frame out the fireplace. We did wanna go with a real brick, but as these are the model homes, they need to be able to reproduce the product, so we had to go with sort of a faux porcelain tile here. And we did a matching dark wood mantle, and we think it looks beautiful. We use a large, fluffy sectional, like you yeah. said. And with the sectional, we want to create an asymmetrical look. So we used the large, heavy cabinet on the left for a big focal point. And then on the right, we use a little softer tones with the art and the beautiful lamp. We love to layer our decor, especially in a family room. You really want to load up those pillows, add the decor to the craft table, don't forget the chairs, and the bookcase is a perfect place to add tons of different decor. You can also add those pretty greeneries and mix your metals in there. We actually went with a light wood chair in the living room. It coordinates beautifully with the brass metal details throughout and it's totally okay to mix your woods. So in the dining room here, we carried over the beautiful curtains from the living room. And this room features our Milton chandeliers, one of our best-selling chandeliers. It's such a statement piece and I love it. And as well as our Tia mirror, which is such an interesting shape. It really mm -hmm. gives this, the space it. some character. Mm -hmm. So we went with a pretty classic look with the table and chairs, but we kind of wanted to add a pop of color and whimsy and we did so with the table lamps. And they look beautiful on top of our Koiman BD unit. Throughout this home, we have our traditional look, which is white and black with a hit of warmth. That transitions through the whole home, so from the living room to the dining room and now up to the master bedroom. So the master bedroom actually posed the biggest challenge for us because in the modern homes, they have those corner windows and it doesn't allow us the symmetry on that back wall that we wanted. So we ended up moving the bed on the other wall, which faces the windows. It's not typically how we would normally do a bedroom layout, but in this specific layout, it just worked really well the way it is now. We also wanted to have that classic feel, so we went with a fabric bed and then paired it with these really beautiful shadow box nightstands. They have a black metal detail, you can also display stuff inside, and they accentuate that room beautifully. And then on the side wall, we did these two massive custom framed pieces that really add so much personality to that room and they have those nice kind of nature views, and then accenting that with the nice long piece over top of the headboard. Typically, we'd like to switch up the lighting in the master bedroom. Our chandelier and our table lamps would look different, but in here, we wanted to hone in on that classic feel, so we actually picked lighting fixtures from the same collection so that they matched. It turned out beautifully in there. It looks so comfortable and cozy and elegant. Now on into the ensuite. 
This design process began with the vanity. So because we had done dark hardwood throughout, we actually wanted to do a dark vanity, which we hadn't really done before. And I love how it turned out. We did a brass detail and I think we were able to modernize it enough, but still keep it in keeping with the house. The star of the show in this bathroom, in my opinion, is the statement Rito mirrors. Just that oval shape, it's just classic. They're nice and chunky and mm -hmm. it's a beautiful tone of gold. We did keep heavily with the brass detail in this bathroom, but it's us. We love to add those hits of black. So we did that with the tub, with the side table beside the tub, and we actually did a wall detail in the shower with a herringbone black tile. It looks amazing. It brings in our warm modern style, and we love how it turned out. So we love how this home turned out in general. We're really happy that we were able to exude our warm modern style paired with that classic look. Is it, is it one of your favorite? Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Is it one of yours? I think so. I also I love so. the layout of this home. I love how it turned out. There's tons of cabinetry and storage space and I kind of like to look for that in a home. So I hope you loved this tour. Let us know if there's any other Richcraft models that you want to see and we are happy to show them to you and walk through our design process. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.